eight tools for your business um, as a creative entrepreneur. The very first one is Acuity Online Scheduling. So this is something that I dreaded coming into the online space. I did not want to schedule appointments. I didn't want to deal with that email back and forth. And I knew at some point I would have several different scheduling options. Um, I also was really worried about people scheduling things when I was with my kids or spending time with my husband or on a date night. And so I wanted control of that without having the back and forth emails. Acuity is a great way to do that. I like Acuity because of how robust it is. I also did another video, which I'm going to link above as well as in the description, um, on how I use Acuity in my business specifically. But I would definitely suggest Acuity. Um, the second one is Zoom, which goes in line with Acuity. So all of my appointments I typically have on Zoom. Even if it's a voice call and they can call in, I do it on Zoom because you can set it to automatically um, record and upload that data to your Google Drive, as well as you can integrate it in with Acuity. So I don't have to create an, a Zoom link every single time I have an appointment. I don't have to send that out separately. It does it for me through Acuity without me having to do a thing. So it saves a ton of time and it's something I don't have to delegate out and it's something I don't have to worry about the client having. So Zoom is great. It's very user friendly. You can also do workshops and webinars and Facebook Live on it. And it's a great um, all in one video conferencing type tool. The third one is Canva. So again, I was worried it was going to toss me a ton of money to get the right graphics um, and have the right presence online through graphics. And graphics is not something that I am good at. I can look at something and tell you if it looks good or not, but I am not someone who can do it from scratch. So Canva has a ton of awesome templates. You can do it for free. Now, if you choose to use their work version, the nice thing is that you can easily resize things. So if you have one image for Facebook, you can also use it for like Instagram and Pinterest and copy it over. Uh, so it just, it ends up being a great tool. And as a bonus, I wanted to mention that there is an awesome shop out there. Um, it's called NicoletteStyles.com um, and she builds Canva templates and packages them for social media um, and your website and anything that you could imagine needing. She's coming out with new products all the time for like workbooks and ebooks and things that you can use. Um, and it's super, super affordable and you can customize it all for your business. So I would totally recommend checking her out if you do end up with Canva and you like how Canva is. If you've seen any of my images on social media or Pinterest, it's all through Canva. I've done all of them myself. Um, and I've now gotten to the point where I can outsource that because I built templates for my team to where they can out, like they can do it the same way I would have done it. Um, my next one is Voxer. So Voxer, some people call it like their walkie talkie system. And it literally is that because one thing that I found through doing this online space is that I got really tired of typing and texting and finding ways to communicate with not only my clients, but my team. Now, I don't have any of my clients on Voxer, but I do have my entire team on Voxer. So they know that sometimes I step away from my email. I'm not always near my computer, but they may need to reach me at different hours of the day because they're all in different time zones. And how do I accomplish that? Well, I did Voxer. The other great thing about Voxer, if you do decide to purchase the Pro Edition, which I just recently went Pro, I'd been using it free for almost a year, um, is that you can voice message things and then send them to people. So sometimes someone will message me on Facebook and I don't quite have time to type or I'm not in a good position to, I can record that Vox real quick and send it to them through that channel or post it on Facebook or put it in Slack or wherever I need to put it. So it's not only a great way to communicate, but it's also a great way to leave yourself messages or put messages into other channels for people. Um, I've also used it a lot with my husband because it's a lot easier than us texting. Um, so we've even communicated on a family level with it. Um, my next tool, number five, is Slack. So Slack is, a, is sort of an instant messaging tool. But what's great about Slack is that you can divide it by channels. 
You can separate out your conversations. You can build it for what you need. And it's super, super user friendly. So one of the problems that I have sometimes with my clients or even sometimes my team is that they don't want to learn new platforms and new software. Slack makes it really easy to communicate. It gets everything out of your email. And then you can streamline your conversations based on how you build your channels. Um, I have one Slack workspace that I've been working with um, a team with for years. And so we have all of that archive. We have all the different information points. And every time we onboard a new part of that team, they get onboarded through Slack. So it's just, it's a beautiful way to communicate and it integrates in with a lot of other tools. Now on the flip side of that, I also use Asana. Both of these are free. I use Slack and Asana, both the free version. Um, Slack, Slack is more for my clients and my team to communicate with my clients and me to be able to monitor that. Where Asana is how I delegate my project management within my team and within my business. Um, I've also developed Asana channels for, or Asana workspaces for my clients. Um, and that is basically what runs my business. I've been with Asana since they were in beta mode, so it's sort of hard for me to try and use anything else. I have used Trello before, and I do still use Trello for some things, but the fact that Asana has both the board and list option makes it amazing. Um, so I would definitely check out using both and trying to integrate both within your business, if you can. My last two are ones that have really become an integral part of my business as I've been growing. So I didn't necessarily have these completely built out at the beginning, but now that I'm up and going, they have just been a lifesaver and have helped me grow. Um, the first one is Active Campaign, which is an email marketing provider. I used to be Team MailChimp, but then I went over to Active Campaign. Um, I was looking at ConvertKit and I just felt like it was really confusing and sort of clunky and wasn't something I was willing to like dive into in depth. So um, I have used ConvertKit for some of my clients, but me personally, I did not want to be on there. There were also some automations and things I wanted to do that I felt like ConvertKit didn't quite do well. And so I went into Active Campaign, and what's really nice about them is that they base their pricing off of your subscriber list. So at the very beginning, I think I was paying like $20 a month, and now I'm up to like 30 because I've grown my list. Um, and then the next step up, I think, is 50. So um, you do sort of have to weigh out like the benefits of it when you're growing your list and how to grow your list on your platform. But for me, um, we've had just tremendous growth from that and active campaign is super easy to put together super easy to put your tags in it can integrate with other tools very easily um and it's just been so much better than what we had before so i definitely suggest that tool i have a ton of really good resources on using active campaign and people that know what they're talking about in that space so if you're looking for how to do like funnels and opt-ins and all of that stuff around email marketing um, let me know and I can also put some of that down in the comments. The last one, and you all knew this was coming if you know anything about me, but my absolute tool that I think every business owner needs is Dubsado. So Dubsado is a client management and relationship software. And what that means is it allows you to manage all of your clients, your leads, your prospects in a very clean, organized, but robust fashion. So I knew at the very beginning of my business that if I was going to do this as a solopreneur at the time and I was still going to have time to put dinner on the table and spend time with my husband that I would need something like Dubsado to manage my business. So I got Dubsado. Um, I looked around the market and I felt like it was the best fit for me, best fit for my business and then fell in love with it so much that I now build the accounts for other Dubsado users. The thing about them is if you haven't checked out, go to their Dubsado community Facebook page, and I put that link down in the description as well, um, and just see the feel of the culture. I think you can tell a lot about the company based on the culture that they provide for their customers or even their non-trial customers. So the great thing about them is you can go in and you can have up to three clients 
for free. So set up a couple of test things, get some prospects in, and then it'll pay for itself. It's only $25 a month right now, which is a steal comparison to how much money it's going to make you by setting it up. So those are my eight tools. To recap, they're Acuity, Zoom, Canva, Voxer, Slack, Asana, Dubsado, and ActiveCampaign. So check them out. I put all the links in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe on your way down, and I'll catch you next week.